everybody, Brad Parks with Morpheus Data. I manage product and go to market for Morpheus. And one of the questions I often get asked is, what is Morpheus? So I thought we'd just spend a few minutes breaking that down and hopefully a way that's easy for you to consume. Speaking of easy to consume, that is what Morpheus is all about. We want to make it easier for large enterprise companies to consume their on-premises hardware as well as public clouds. So let's talk a little bit more about what that means. So hopefully you know that for a lot of the world, the databases, the applications, the web servers that we all engage with every day still reside, those applications run in an on-prem data center. It could be owned and managed by a large company, or it could be hosted in a co-location facility. More and more though, new application workloads have been running and being built for the public cloud, right? Things like AWS, Azure, Google, IBM, they all have public cloud data centers. So there's this interplay between on-premises environment and public cloud. But there's another dimension at work, and that is the people that consume IT and the people that run and manage IT. So who are they? So you've got development teams who are writing code for the applications that we all use, the banking apps, the other productivity applications that we get benefit from. Every time they push a piece of code, build that, they need to test that environment, do quality assurance, they'll usually stage that somewhere, and then finally push it into production for all of us to use. Each of those environments that get created, those become the remit of the operations team, right? They're in charge of the service levels, the care and feeding of all of that infrastructure. So usually what happens, traditionally, a developer says, hey, I need that environment created, I need my new database, they'd submit a ticket, but sometimes that can take the operations teams days or weeks to get that environment fully production ready. That's because there are a lot of hands that have to touch it. Sometimes it's the VMware admin, the network team, the operating system team, the security team, the quality assurance team, all of these people touching that request makes it take days or weeks. So what happens? Well, developer says, I know I can go up to AWS and get that same database in about five minutes. I'm just gonna run my test up there and we'll deal with everything else later. That becomes a pretty big problem for a couple of other groups inside the enterprise. You've got first, Security team says, whoa guys, that's not cool, right? We're gonna have data leaks, we're gonna have breaches, you're exposing the company to risk, right? The other challenge is you've got the finance team over here. You might not be able to see that, it's pretty light green, but you've got a finance team saying, man, we are spending way too much money up in the public cloud. We've also bought a lot of on-premises infrastructure that we're not using as much as we should. That's a problem. They want to try and assign accountability to different teams. How much are we spending for project A or group B? So what's the answer? Well, we're seeing more and more centralized platform engineering teams are being created at big enterprises to try and solve this intersection. They need to develop self-service as a core capability for the company. They need development teams to move really, really fast so that they can develop applications, differentiate, and win in the markets that they play in. The challenge is trying to orchestrate and write all of this from scratch can take tens of millions of dollars and create a lot of overhead and technical debt for the organization. So that's really where Morpheus comes in. We are a control plane piece of software that sits in the middle of this transformation. We give developers an API code, a service portal, a Terraform provider, we give them a way where they can provision those workloads on demand no matter where those workloads are going. It's as easy to provision into on-prem as it is in the public cloud. For IT though, we give them a place to set guardrails. They can put policies and permissions in place so that they make sure that teams are only provisioning into the environments that they want, using the golden image templates, all of the patterns that they want so that they can keep managing those service levels that are really important for the business. Now, for the security team, we're gonna make sure that every time something gets provisioned, it's gonna have the right security agent installed, that they're gonna be able to scan for vulnerabilities and manage drift, 
they're going to be able to make sure that the environment is protected and the enterprise is not exposed to risk. And then lastly, for the finance team, we're going to give them one place to go to set policies around budget, but also they can track how much is every team spending in the on-prem private environment as well as up in the public cloud. So back to what does Morpheus do? We're a unified control plane that helps large enterprises orchestrate this intersection of private hypervisors like VMware and Nutanix, public clouds like AWS, Azure, and GCP, as well as the interplay between all these teams. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks, have a great day. If you have any questions, look us up.